Hi everybody, Paul the Trombonist here. Now, I wanted to talk a little bit about how to go about approaching how to practice with the practice mute in your horn. Now, this is something that kind of took me a little bit to figure out how to do it efficiently. Now, the biggest common mistake we all do is when we put that practice mute inside our horn is we just continue to play the trombone how we, we would normally play it if it was open. Now, the problem with that is if you notice these practice mutes, it's going to create a lot of back pressure by the way they're designed. It's not going to be the same as an open blowing horn. So the way to compensate for that is two words or three words, nice and easy. That's the mindset you want to have when you have a practice mute in your horn. You just want to play nice and easy. You don't want to ever overblow. You want to play at a nice comfortable volume. And you just want to be super relaxed, as super chilled out as you possibly can be. So I'm at a piano volume when I have the mute inside me. Anytime you go over that volume, you're going to create a lot of problems in your chops, as I'm sure you experienced. And I actually avoided practicing with the practice mute for a long time in my life because I didn't quite understand how to go about doing it. It's a whole different animal when you got the mute in your instrument. You got to think a lot differently. You want it to be nice and easy at a very soft, relaxed volume. And then it's going to work out beautifully for you. You'll feel warmed up. And then when you play normally, you're not going to have any issues with the chops, okay? As many of you know, I'm in the studio right now working on my uh, debut instrumental trombone album where I'm fusing together all these musical influences I've had in my life. Pop music, jazz music, electronic music, hip hop, uh, R&B, putting them all together in one project called Journey to the World. It's really exciting. It was mixed by Ryan Gilligan with one song by Steve Jenowick. Grammy winning, Grammy nominees, amazing. Just sent it off to get, to get mastered by the legendary Tom Coyne. Now you know of Tom Coyne's work. He just did Justin Bieber's last album. He did Taylor Swift's 1989. He did Adele 21 and 25. Sam Smith, the list goes on. These are the world's greatest. So excited to get this music to you. It's going to be the first time that the trombone is introduced is an instrumental album with sounds that many people of this generation can latch on to. So if you could do me a favor, if you're going to get the album, if you can pre-order it anyways, that's going to help us market it to the best possible way we can do it. So when it's time for release, the word is out there about this. And it's going to introduce the trombone to a lot of people. So it's really exciting. I'm going to put a link right here how to, to obtain it. You can go to my website. It's the simplest way. You're going to see a pop-up that says pre-order Paul's album. It's paulthetrombonist.com. Or you can go to pledgemusic.com slash project slash paulthetrombonist. That's the official pre-order site. We started off with 100 vinyl. We're only pressing vinyl for the pre-orders. We started off with 100 and we only have, I think as the time of this recording, there was only 12 left. So if you like vinyl, you're going to want to pre-order because that's the only way you're going to be able to get the vinyl of Journey to the World. If you pre-order, you also get little samples, little tastes, little behind the scenes of this album, which is very fun. Many people from all over the world sending me messages telling me it's the most fun album process they've ever been a part of. And they're loving it so much to get these little tastes. Also, if you pre-order, you only... That's the only way you're going to get the signed copies as well. So if you're going to get the album, which I know you're going to get it because you're going to love it because it's awesome, you might as well pre-order. So I want to thank you all so much. I want to thank my patrons. That means the world to me too. You all mean the world to me. Thank you so much for watching these videos. There's more to come. There's more Bone Masters to come. I've been filming Bone Masters. If you like that series, there's more of that to come. There's more covers to come. And I just want to wish you a great day. Thanks for following me on my social media. I'm everywhere. Paul the Trombonist, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter. The whole works. You get it. All right? And I do different things on all the networks. Thank you so much. You have a great day. Now, remember, you can tune a piano, but you cannot.
tuna fish. Hi everybody, part of <laughs> hey everybody, Paul the Trombonist here. Great to see you all. So today I want to talk a little bit about how to go about practicing with the practice mute. <laughs> now check it out, my friends. This is something that.